need some gunfire and explosives to wake me up. <sighs> What's going on guys? It is super early in the morning. We are back out here. If you guys saw the last video where we were shooting at this engine, we did like a little semi penetration test and honestly because it was an aluminum block, we were shooting at it with a 50 AE Desert Eagle. I was assuming that being that it's aluminum, it would penetrate just fine. But actually out of about six to eight shots, can't remember exactly how many we shot at it, but out of six to eight, only one actually penetrated right here. So that was really interesting. Since I was wrong about that, I was curious of doing like more of a penetration test with an aluminum block because at this point it seems to be practically bulletproof. Now, do I actually think that? No, but out of that many shots from a 50 caliber pistol, only one penetrated fully. And even after penetrating through, it only went into the combustion chamber and only penetrated one layer of this block which was really interesting. We're probably going to do a penetration test of different calibers against this aluminum block. Depending on how this one goes, we're debating on doing a future one with like iron block because I am very curious. Iron block is much stronger than this aluminum is. So it's going to be fascinating to see how this aluminum block holds up to different caliber rounds. Uh, but we've brought 308 out. We've got 300 wind mag for whenever it really just wants to go through, hopefully. Uh, let's see, we've got 6.5 Creedmoor and we brought 7.62 also. Yeah, that's right. So we brought an AK out here also. We'll try it out and see. So let's get everything unloaded. What, deer? Big old deer print. Big ass tracks, bud. Going mud? I'm helping. I'm trying to put down weight back here so we get. Start tracked. hopping. Bounce up and down. <laughs> he must be. He's got to be stuck on a log or something. Wait, why'd we leave the rifle back here? I don't know. I... <laughs> that was stupid. I left my camera that we use for setting up close and I kind of shot the GoPro that we usually use for this stuff. So I'm just gonna go to the slow-mo camera on my phone. 240 frames per second, so that should get pretty slow. Up first for our penetration test, I've got my C93 V2. This is my only milled stock uh, AK that I've got, or milled receiver at least. I don't have anything other than this that is milled and I really, really enjoyed a lot. Uh, everything else that I've got is stamped, just cheap little AKs. This one though, I have really, really enjoyed a lot. I haven't put that many rounds through it, but we've got uh, 20 rounds of 7.62 by 39 and then move on to another rifle. So I guess let's go ahead and get started with 7.62. Let's see what it does. I think that did some work. All right, boys. Stay frosty. She might not be dead. What's your guess? What do you think it did? I think it put a pretty messy hole in the side of it. Ooh. Oh, I hit high. Did it go? <laughs> Oh. oh, that's nasty. So I guess I hit three right here. I hit a little bit high. We're working with iron sights on that. Right. Let's try it one more time. Let's roll back. All right. Let's investigate. Yep, it was high again. So, yeah, that's what I was about to say. So it oh, looks wait. like... It actually, it didn't go through though, but yeah, it that's definitely what I was about to say. crushed the wall. I think that our irons are a little bit off, being that both times I was aiming for this rectangle, both shots, probably about a half inch off. So they're they're definitely bo both consistent. I think our irons are just a little bit off, but you can see that it definitely... Oh, look at the... There's the bullet in there. Oh, you're right. It's down in there. It's all crushed up and broken up. Yeah, yeah. 762, it does not appear like has what it takes. So do 308 next. Try it out. Next up, I've got this Wyndham Weaponry, a uh, really nice AR-10 chambered in obviously 308. This one hopefully will do a little bit better than that 762, but I guess we'll find out. See where you hit it? Yep. Nope. Oh yeah. We penetrated. Look at that. What a spot to penetrate through. Ooh. So that was actually the thicker portion, the thicker portion of the block. Ooh. Yeah, there definitely. Some, uh, look, you've got some projectile there. So 308 definitely penetrating a little bit better, as you guys see. It looks like it punched a hole through it, but it doesn't look like the round fully made itself through. That's a good size hole. That's a good size hole, yeah. So through quite a thick portion here. I mean, it had uh, one, two, three layers here. So through three different layers of aluminum, that 308 had no chance of stopping. It definitely flew right through. So that is what uh, 308 looks like. I guess we're gonna step it up a little bit more now. We've got 6.5 Creedmoor next. 6.5 Creedmoor is very similar to 308. Uh, so I don't know if it's gonna be much different from this, but we'll give it a shot and see. Up next is a gun that you guys have probably seen on this channel uh, from whenever we destroyed the Saab. Use this gun here. This is a uh, Ruger Precision. So here are the differences in 308. 308 in this hand, 6.5 Creedmoor here. If you notice, 6.5 Creedmoor is just a lot longer and skinnier projectile, though the casing itself is very similar to 308. If you notice between this round and this round, um, you can actually interchange these. So 6.5 Creedmoor will actually work in all of your typical AR-10 308 mags, being that it's that similar. So we run 308 mags and just fill it with 6.5 Creedmoor. It works great. You ready? Oh yeah. That's some smoke. Well, uh, I don't know if you saw, but there was a huge flash on the engine block. Phone's gonna pick it up for sure, but it was bright. 
I've got a theory that six five crew is probably going to penetrate a little bit more. So I was aiming right in the center of the cylinder, and we had direct contact where I was aiming, which is pretty cool. And look, oh, straight yeah. through the wall here, and, and it came all the way back, and actually hit there, where? and broke right here also, right here. Oh, that's underneath the engine oil? right there. That's where it hit. So next up is going to be 300 wind mag. I'm I'm very positive it's going to penetrate. So we're going to set this thing sideways because now what I'm curious about is how far 300 wind mag is actually going to go. By setting this block sideways, we've got all the cylinders in line, which means that if we shoot through this right here, where the water pump used to be, this water pump housing, we will get immediate access to each cylinder. I'm curious how many is actually going to punch through. Through. That's gonna be really neat. This this first first wall here is gonna be the test. I got no doubt it's gonna come into this cylinder, but this will it right make it here, through? Is gonna be the big question. Yeah. This is the big one because that's woo, that's gonna be fun. Next up, this is actually funny. It's a little bit higher caliber, and it's actually a lighter rifle. So this is a Savage Model 111, chambered in 300 Win Mag, super accurate rifle, and a nice optic on it. Today we're only gonna be firing at about 20 yards, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm expecting a lot more out of this 300 Win Mag. So if you notice, projectile is a little bit a little bit fatter, maybe a little bit shorter. If we compare projectile for projectile, <laughs> a lot more powder. <laughs> Definitely fatter and shorter, but you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Much hotter round. A lot more energy behind this thing. It's got a lot more stopping power, but uh, that 6.5 Creedmoor probably moves a little bit quicker. Let me show you guys real quick too. Kind of funny. This is 7.62. This is what we started with. 7.62. Oh my God. That is 300 Win Mag. So this is what typical AKs are chambered in. 7.62 by 3.9. And again, this is 300 Win Mag. I'm gonna be moving a little bit faster. A little bit. Yeah. This one is just about the only one that I'm not worried about penetrating at all. This is a little bit louder. Make sure y'all got y'all's ears good. Yeah. Going hot. Good. That had some punch. So what I didn't account for is the fact that that rifle is sighted in over 100 yards. <laughs> and I shot directly at what I was aiming at, oh. but it's going a little bit low. So before we even look, I don't want to look yet. Oh, wow. Oh, if you I look can... here, I did not even hit in the center hole. I was aiming for about that center, but as you see, I dropped a little bit low because we are sighted in for much farther than this. Uh, and I didn't even compensate. I didn't think about that, so I didn't shoot any higher. But anyway, so immediately before we even look into the cylinder walls, we see that it penetrated the outer block and also I can see the water jacket it penetrated. Let's see what it did inside of here. So we've got a very large cavity created right there from that 300 wind mag. And again, that is through one, two, three, three very solid thick layers of aluminum. Oh. Um, we're gonna try and shoot right here once again. How do y'all expect this one to go? I think it's gonna go through two walls and punch the third one. What you think? I think I'm gonna wait and see. Okay, well, you can be like that. <sighs> Woo! Oh, man. Right through. Smokey the Bear would be proud. Oh, I see the hole. That's a beautiful hole. Don't, don't oh. show anything. Just, like, I can't see anything. Let's just appreciate this look at the wow. look at the perfect mushrooming out here it's like a nice little butthole, butthole. went straight center that little hole that we were aiming at check in here and see okay so it definitely went through this and through this right. and it looks like we splattered up against the back of our cylinder wall there uh, it's crazy. honestly just a little bit of grinding down you could probably reuse this block you're right get some jb weld and fill in the holes it'll be fine so that 300 wind mag in case you can't tell is absolutely no joke. <laughs> and uh, it's not like we've got any armor piercing rounds. It's just a standard full metal jacket target ammo that we're using too. So it's not anything crazy at all and it's still doing that much. So that's really interesting. That is the biggest, uh, most penetrating round that I've got at the moment. So that's kind of sad. We couldn't even make it all the way through the engine. Good news, uh, we brought something for that exact reason. Since we had problems penetrating, I had a feeling that we were going to have problems getting all the way through the block. I just wanted to see the block split open and broken in half. So I was curious if we could actually break the entire block in half. So to assist that, we're going to see if we can split this block in half. Just turn right. And now it's not going to. Just kidding. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh, Holy shit! I'm about to pull my pistol out. And <laughs> Holy right here. fuck! That was honestly the coldest joke that I've ever heard Daniel tell before. Holy! Don't encourage fuck. him. Don't encourage that shit. Damn, you wanna son. Get, you want to get like demonetized and, and publicly just executed? That's not <laughs> mm. Actually, this isn't even the most satisfying part. Just wait till we get that over there, and you just see how perfect. Mm. Cocoa Krispies. Pour a little milk in there. Yeah, what Nick was saying though. I don't know how it happened to be this way. I think they really wanted us to do this with this engine because, come see. Gods of head assery are smiling upon us today. Oh, wow. Well, it doesn't even go all the way down anymore. It doesn't anymore. go all the way down. I think uh, we should definitely. Maybe if somebody had uh, a shot. You want a challenge? There we go. You want a challenge? What's what? the challenge? Let's put it in this one. 
shoot through the hole you already shot through. See if you can hit it. Yeah, you would have back. a little. Hey, you, you realize you, you might want to back your phone up a little bit. Yeah. My phone got this. Oh man, where did it go? I think it's a 50 50 that your phone's gonna get forgot. Oh, your phone's getting waxed. You better prepare for that. No, That's way too. You're literally putting it on the blast side. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The blast is going that way, <laughs> right into your phone. My all right. Phone be good. All right. All right. I like that smile. Oh, whoa. What up? Whoa! Yo, dude. That's 50. This is just a random 50 round. That wasn't even from us shooting at the block. Oh, I'm gonna take this home and wash it off. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah. we should definitely get further away from this engine. Oh, what? It's two pounds. And a literal grenade that it's inside of. Daniel, it's two pounds. It doesn't matter if it's two pounds, it's well, what's look, around you it. You go video from across there and whenever it makes a little poof, then you walk all the way back over here. I dog, I'm gonna be real. Don't, it's not gonna make a little poof. I think we're fine where we're at, but it, we'll see. We'll I don't like, I don't wanna be this close. I'm making that known now. Cool, just so after the fact, he can be like, I told you. Once this goes well, I'm gonna buy you a gold necklace that just says bitch on it. I'll wear it, I don't care. I think we're far enough back. We're not, but it'll be fine. I shot the lid off of it, dude. I, I don't think it exploded. It either, hold up, hold up. It either didn't, you either shot the lid off or it wasn't moving fast enough. I shot the lid off, I'm looking at it. Ready? That was shit. boom. Holy shit. Yeah, my phone's fucked. <laughs> I'll say that was worse than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to be so fucking pissed. Damn it. You're going to get pissed. You'd... Ah, my engine stand. It fell over. Oh, All right, get up, get up, get up. Oh, shit. Hey, this just. Oh, my. Look, see, see, that's why I didn't want to be next to it. Look out. Look at that. Look at that shit. Look, there's all kind. There's engine right there. There's a big ass piece of engine hey, look, over there. That's the farthest it went. We were just far enough back. Bro, I heard shit hitting the truck. Be quiet. <laughs> what? No. -uh. The truck looks fine. Yeah, I was gonna say nothing hit the truck. Crack ass. You guys want to take bets on your phone? I really hope my phone's okay. To be honest. We'll be real, dog. I'm no expert on anything actually, but I'm gonna say I don't think your phone's doing hot right now, because I can't see it. Oh man, where did it go? You want oh. Phone? Ah! I told y'all she was gonna be good. Sounds good. Oh, it won't turn on. Oh, it's just dead. This might be the culprit. It ain't dead. <laughs> I know it ain't dead. There ain't no way it's dead. Feel how heavy this is. If it Did died, you give your phone a heart attack? Is that what happened? Your phone just had a little heart attack? If it died, I'm gonna be real sad if it didn't get that on video. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Can't do anything about it now. Well, There's a whole lot of engine everywhere. Oh. God damn. Honestly, I was kind of wondering if it was even gonna split it open. Oh. Well, I lost my bolts. Damn it. I need another engine stand now. Boy, that engine is... Where's the rest of it? Where's the... We need to take this back to Doug and be like, hey, can you fix this? This is the direction of the blast. Like, engine here, engine there. There's some engine over there. They probably found... What? Like, whole cylinders? <laughs> I've never seen the bottom half of the <laughs> it engine. Said, baby, bye, bye, bye. Look at the actual sleeve itself. You see that? It pushed the sleeve down. I've never I seen. Was... I've never seen factory sleeves before. That's really cool. I can say that I was definitely wrong. It literally shot block about 25 yards, 30 yards, like chunks of the engine itself. That's two pounds. Should we still put this back together? Oh man! I promise, Eggy, you'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be okay, I promise. I guess that pretty much answers our question though about if engine blocks are bulletproof. No, they're not bulletproof. Uh, well, kinda. No no bullet actually went all the way through and came out the other side, so. Sure. They definitely will stop bullets though, that's interesting. For some reason, I thought a large hot round like that would just send it all the way through the aluminum. Rain. And uh, it is starting to rain on us now, so you know, that that's gonna be a wrap, what? This video is going viral. Oh yeah, every time it rains, good things happen, that's true. Huh. Okay. Superstition is a long story. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. Subscribe if you have not already. Turn notifications on, all that good stuff. Also, if you want to check out a lot of the other stuff that we've done, you can click up above right now and we've got a playlist set up for just stuff like this. So thank you again for watching and we'll see you next video. Hey, I, I will say one thing. Mm -hmm. I almost chose I almost chose a desk job over here. Yeah. <laughs>